everybody, thank you for coming back to Katie Pie Cosmetics. As always, I will show you guys how I created this mystique freaky deaky look. But first off and foremost, I always want to come on here and thank you guys so much for your support. We just hit 400 followers on Instagram and we're about to hit 40 here on YouTube. So thank you guys so, so, so much. Because I can't tell you how much it means to me. It, it means the absolute world. So I chose Mystique, not only she is a total hot ass, bad ass beach, but her superpower is so cool, she can change and mutate her body into any single person and sound exactly like them. Who wouldn't want to do that on a day to day basis? I mean, so I wanted to throw her in as one of my bad ass redheads that I wanted to create. If you guys haven't already seen it, go on and check out my Instagram. I also did a creation of Dark Phoenix and we did a Poison Ivy creation as well. I didn't get to video those for you guys, so I'm so sorry, but we are starting off the Bati Paint Ink series all the way through from Mystique onto the villains and so on and so forth. So, so I wanted to give a shout out because this whole time I have been wearing this um, really beautiful really beautiful bando here. I love supporting my entrepreneurial friends. This is my friend Tori Carlisle and she is on Instagram and as tortor underscore car car. So T-O-R-T-R-R -T -R -R underscore C-R C-A-R C-A-R. And she makes the most amazing bandos and matching headbands. She is going into um, guys um, menswear tank tops and everything as well so if you guys want to check this out I absolutely love these um, you can obviously wear these with an outfit and I obviously love a bandeau for when I'm body painting and everything so go ahead and check her out she's one of my really great friends and this is absolutely amazing I honestly wear it all the time so if you guys want to check it out that's a really good spot to get a nice matching bandeau headset piece please 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 don't forget to subscribe subscribe before you leave so that you can see more of these body painting especially this comic book series I got a whole series coming out for you here we're gonna jump right on in some villains here next so this was the last badass redhead now we're gonna be moving on to the badass series of the comic books series <laughs> so without further ado if you want to look all all mystique <laughs> then go ahead and keep on watching all right so let's get this started so basically right now what i'm doing is i am taking the makeup revolution conceal and define concealer and just kind of evening out the skin tone of my face here next we are going to be taking maron's paradise paint in brilliant azure and i'm just really messily putting on this first coat here just kind of really evening out well not even evening out the blue just like throwing it down that's, that's all you're doing on this first layer, girl. You're just throwing it down. <laughs> but then um, I honestly did about two, three coats to get the kind of desired blue that I want. And you'll see in a minute here what I love about this blue is once you start to build it up, it's a metallic type of blue. So it was so awesome. Every single time the light hit that blue, it would just be the perfect highlight on the skin. And it was just absolutely gorgeous for this look. So I just love, love, love this blue. So if you can get your hands on this blue, it is a really, really great blue for like pop art looks and all that kind of stuff here. So if you can, get your hands on this color because it is legit. It was gorgeous. So now as you can see us doing the second layer here, you can see that metallic kind of come through and shine even more. Just make sure on the second layer, you can see the brush strokes a lot better so make sure you're taking your time on those brush strokes just so that it looks evenly placed and everything and looks con like consistent with the color but look at that shine guys all right now that we look like we belong in the blue man group in vegas we are just gonna go ahead and take our maron paradise paint in white and we're gonna highlight the face and give it a little bit extra light and dimension you'll see here i was a little bit worried because i didn't have a beauty blender so i had to I had to kind of improvise here on what i was going to put on my face so it was kind of not spreading it out evenly but just make sure that you can kind of when you have your beauty blender just highlight like normal 
Now we are going to be taking the Fit Me Loose powder here and I'm going to be just setting everything that we did previously with the white. So every little highlighted area you're just going to set and this is just going to kind of even everything out here. Make sure that you really blend this color in so that it really smooths out the skin and makes it look all even. Now we're gonna be taking the Morphe 35B palette and we're just gonna be taking our brush and we are just gonna be contouring out the face. So contour like normal on the forehead, the cheeks, underneath the chin, get rid of that double chin girl, no one wants that there. And then just kind of redefine certain things here. So now we're gonna start to shade up the shoulders here. We're gonna redefine the collarbone and everything. Just everything that we lost when we kind of painted over, we're just gonna redefine and make sure that it kind of pops. So with the shadow, not only did I redefine like certain areas like this, but I used it as an eyeshadow just to kind of give a little bit more life and everything to the eyes. I used it as a nose contour to contour up my nose, make my nose a little bit more snatched. <laughs> and just a little bit under the lip and on top of the lip to give it a little bit more of a pout. Then I just kind of lightly ran this color through the eyebrows. She didn't really have a very defined eyebrow shape, so I just kind of threw it wherever it went and on the lips as well. Now for this, when I created these scales, basically what you're gonna do is I grab the glass from basically like a picture frame and I kind of use that as just like a little table area for myself and then I warmed up my hot glue gun and I just basically squirted all the glue in like strips like big thick strips onto the glass and let that cool once it cooled down I was able to peel that off and then paint over it with the brilliant azure that we had used from earlier and then I basically just took the Morphe 35B palette again with that dark blue and then just shaded all those pieces again and you're just gonna cut up those pieces however you like and place them wherever you want I would reference the picture a lot at first for the forehead and then just kind of throw the rest of the scale scales wherever you like um, then we just straightened my hair and gelled it back I loved using the gel not only because it gave it that wet look, but it was really easy to apply this paint as well. And this is the color Foxy from Maron Paradise Paints as well. Alright, and there you guys have it. Just throw on your favorite lashes. These are the Ilor collaboration with Jasmine Brown, the JBs, and your favorite contacts. And there you go. I hope you guys love, 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 love. And that is it, guys. So I hope, yeah, I hope you guys love the look. It was really simple, really easy. Um, very few paints involved and everything here for you. Um, the only really tedious part about this is sticking on all these bad boys. Obviously, if you wanted to do a full-on body painting look, you're going to have to make a lot more of these. So I would recommend making a ton more and very like varying sizes and everything for you. And obviously, just kind of place and put it how you want to and everything, and that is what worked out for me there. Can't wait to see you guys on the next one. Bye, guys.